Okay, so leak code, string, string, implement string, string in JavaScript. In this problem, we are supposed to return the index of the first occurrence of the needle. So we have basically a needle in a haystack, and the needle is a couple of letters, and we're supposed to find the letters inside of this string and return uh, the index of the first occurrence of these letters. So the way we're going to do this is search through the string or the haystack by chunks. So what we'll do is we'll find this chunk here and then compare it against the needle, which is LL. And we will just go, that doesn't equal it. So we'll move along and then check this chunk here. And if EL doesn't equal LL, which it does not, well, then we'll move along. And then eventually we'll find that LL uh, does uh, is found right there and that the index of this is 2. And at that point, we'll output that. And then the other thing they ask is, um, oh, it'll return 0 when the needle is an empty string. And then as well, uh, if it doesn't exist, return negative 1. So. Okay, so if, so if needle doesn't exist, oops, we will return zero. Okay, got that out of the way. So I'll use a while loop for this. So we will initialize I. And then for the while loop, So here, while the substring uh, of haystack does not equal the needle, so this is the portion, this line of code here. So we're taking a substring uh, of the haystack in here and then comparing it against the needle portion. So this is the, okay, we're checking this. We're checking, we're checking EL against LL. And then we also have to double check and make sure that i is, in, is still inside the haystack.length. Because this is a while loop, we don't want to uh, just do this forever. And then also because it's a while loop, we have to remember to increment i. So when it does find this, when when this substring of i to needle.length uh, plus i, when that does equal needle, then we'll come out of this while loop and we'll need to return i. Uh, however, we also need to return negative 1 if it isn't found. And because we're using a while loop here, um, the i will increment all the way through the haystack and wind up being larger than the haystack's length. So all we need to do is check to see check to see if i here is greater than the length and if it is return the negative one and otherwise just return i. So let's make sure I type this out correctly. We're gonna hit submit. Give it a moment, accepted. Okay, great. And I could show, uh, let me grab this line of code here. Okay, 
So down here, let me scroll back up so you can see exactly what I wrote. So this, I'm just console logging this chunk section. So I'm console logging i and what needle.length plus i is. So these are the two index values. And then I'm also console logging that actual substring here of the haystack. And I'm just doing that against this uh, needle example up here. So down here, this is my console. So the first chunk, right, one and two, and then, or sorry, one and three, and then second chunk is two and four. And you can see that's el and ll. And because that equals it, because that is actually the needle, then it comes out of the while loop. Don't forget to subscribe. Hope you enjoyed.